Hi there, oh, welcome to my views and news, two new stories, verse for you, both are from the Amhara region. First new story is about an attack on a prison center, which happened last night. Fano fighters tied to storm a prison, a heavily guarded prison. Uh, the prison is located in a city where there has been relative calm. Fano groups carried out attacks in the city a uh, few months ago, but lately they could not enter the city or carry out major attacks inside the city. Secondly, uh, a Fano group has appointed a female spokesperson. We see very few uh, female Fano fighters, especially in top positions. Uh, Fano, all Fano commanders are male. Their deputies are male as well. Women have almost no representation in Fano. What is the reason? Uh, let's start with this first new story from the Amhara region where Fano fighters tried to storm a prison last night. Night between Sunday and Monday. By the way, we've seen uh, two incidents at prisons in the last one week. Uh, two days ago, I reported about uh, riots at a prison, Zivai prison, which is situated in Oromium, Ishwa zone, where Oromo Amhara prisoners clashed. Several were injured. Prison authorities had to intervene. Uh, injured prisoners were then transported to a hospital for medical treatment. Before that, similar clash erupted between prisoners in Kaliti prison. Again, prisoners were injured and uh, prison authorities intervened and injured prisoners were then uh, transported to hospitals. No statements. The government, the prison authorities, uh, the prison department did not care to issue any statement what happened at the two prisons. And now attack on another prison. This time attack. It's not an internal right, but Pano fighters tried to storm this prison. What happened? Uh, this Debre Morocos city is situated in uh, Gujam. East Gojam, I think, zone of the Amhara region. And uh, recently, we did not see any large scale movement by Afano fighters in Debre Morkos. Though a few months ago, they carried out several attacks in Debre Morkos. At one time, they controlled Debre Morkos last year. Then, state of emergency was imposed, military launched an operation, and Afano fighters were dislodged from Debre Morkos, Gondar, Debre Birhan, Shoharobit, Lalibala, etc. But last night, Fano fighters managed to enter the city because the prison center is inside Debre Morkos city. Uh, target was the prison center located in Debre Morkos city. The, the prison center is very heavily guarded. Guarded not just by regional police. But reportedly, ENDF units were also deployed to protect the prison premises. ENDF strike force and police. Strike force means uh, the newly uh, established force, which was established after the dismantlement of Amhara Special Force. All forces were deployed. Pano fighters could not really make it into the prison. Reportedly, that's what we have heard, though Profano sources are claiming that Fano groups stormed the prison and they released prisoners, etc. But what we have been able to confirm is that Fano fighters managed to enter the city, they stormed the prison, fighting erupted uh, on the boundary of prison, you can say, between Fano and security forces. And security forces repelled this attack on the prison reportedly. We could not confirm any 
prisoners released, freed by foreign fighters from Debre Morkos prison last night. But attack on prison is being confirmed. After the attack on prison by foreign fighters, uh, fighting went on in the outskirts of Debre Morkos prison in Debre Morkos city for several hours. Residents of the area also confirmed that they heard uh, sounds of gunshots for hours in Debre Morkos city last night. It seemed that Fano's attack on Debre Morkos prison failed. It could not achieve desired results, it seems. Secondly, viewers, the uh, Afano Brigade has appointed a female spokesperson. The brigade is from Gojam. So, Gojam is now the first zone where a female Fano has been appointed to a senior position, position of a spokesperson. I'm not talking about entire Gojam because uh, the main spokesperson of uh, entire Gajam is uh, another uh, Fano fighters who is uh, a male, not a female. This is a small brigade in Gujam which has appointed a female Fano as its representative, uh, as, as its spokesperson. Question is, why is that uh, majority of Fano fighters is uh, male, not female. When we covered Tegarai war, we saw that Tegarai women and Tegarai women fought alongside Tegarai men. And some were in senior positions. Uh, Patlava Gabri Gizabar fought as a fighter in PPLF. Uh, some other, at least one ENDF channel was from Tegarai. She was a lady. She also uh, fought alongside uh, KDF members against the Ethiopian military. But in Amhara, we are not seeing female representation in Fano groups. I have not seen any female fighter in senior position in any Fano group so far. What is the reason? Maybe uh, it's because uh, the female fighters are not being trained militarily. They uh, are being given different tasks. Tasks about maybe intelligence collection, about uh, provision of logistics. Uh, but when it comes to their combat role, female uh, representation uh, is not as significant as we saw during Tegarai conflict. Ola has some female representation, but it's even Ola uh, female representation also is insignificant when you compare it to how women of Tegarai fought alongside their men against federal. Thanks for watching.